In this video, I will explain calculating income tax expense, calculating income tax payable, and recording journal entries, which includes deferred taxes. Before we proceed for this enterprise, we assume enterprise is assessed for tax on cash basis. The income tax rate is 30%. All sales are cash sales. The rent expense recorded by accounting records is paid in cash. When we look at the data that we have, sales of cash sales is 120,000 and same for tax 120,000 as accessible income. Cost of sales is 50,000 and is deductible for tax. Rent expense is cash is 15,000 deductible for tax. Doubtful debt expense 2,000 is not deductible for tax because it's a notional expense. Good with impairment is 5,000 is not deductible for tax. It is a notional expense. Expense for provision for leave 8,000 is not deductible for tax. It is a nominal expense. Prepaid rent is an asset for accounting and is shown on the balance sheet, but it's a cash deduction or deductible expense for tax, as it occurred during this period. Amount received in cash is unearned earnings for accounting is shown as a liability on the balance sheet, but for tax, it is accessible income of receiving cash in the, during this period. The profit before income tax expense when calculated with the available information is 40,000 and taxable income is 65,000. However, the profit before income tax expense now must be adjusted for any permanent taxation difference. That 5,000 could fill impairment, which is an expense for accounting, is not a deductible expense for tax at all. Therefore, it becomes a permanent difference. That permanent difference now should be adjusted or add back for the profit to come up with uh, adjusted profit before income tax expense to calculate the income tax expense. Then it becomes 45,000. The income tax expense at the rate of 30% is 13,500. Income tax payable at the rate of 30%, which is 65,000 into 30% is 19,500. The first journal entry that should be recorded is for the income tax payable and that is 19,500. The credit and the debit is the income tax expense 19,500. However, the income tax expense that was calculated is 13,500 and to break it to 13,500, we need a credit or a decrease in income tax expense 
of 6,000. So the credit income tax expense of 6,000 and need a corresponding debit and that debit is 6,000 which is called a deferred tax asset. So this is the adjustment to the income tax expense and recognizing the income tax payable time in difference. So the income tax expense is calculated after adding back expenses permanently not deductible for tax. The first journal entry recognizes the actual tax payable. Second journal entry makes adjustment to bring income tax expense to the calculated amount. The second journal entry results in the temporary tax difference. This brings to the end of the video. Thanks for watching. I am Professor Intra Basic.